believe in gang. Gang, 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 gang. Oh, oh. Hold up. <laughs> What's up, my Diva Libra gang? It's your girl, Bree, back again with another Oprah video. I hope you guys are enjoying your day today. Um, y'all, <laughs> listen, like, I've been home contemplating on what, uh, you know, content that I need to drop for you guys, you know, because I didn't want to miss a Wednesday. Like, I want to be consistent on my YouTube channel, but y'all, I ain't got nothing. I ain't. I ain't got Nathan. Okay, I ran out of ideas. I was like, you know, should I do a prank or should I do another WW beating? But I just was like, you know what? I'm, I'm, I'm back to work, you know, because the world is back. Well, New York, as you guys know I'm from, is back in, is in phase two. Um, so my job opened up in a week. So I'm at work every single day. Today was my only day off. Clearly, I get to record, thank God, and today's Monday. So, yeah, I don't know. So, I was just like, you know, let me just turn the camera on and start talking, okay? This could this could have been a mukbang, but I, I already ate lunch, so it's technically not a mukbang, but it's going to be like a little girl chat video. So, we're going we to get into this girl chat video. We're going we to girl chat. Hope y'all are okay with that. You know, whatever comes to my mind, we'll talk about. But before we get into all that, make sure you guys subscribe to my channel um, and comment and like and share my videos. I hope you guys are really, um, you know, liking the content that I'm dropping, but make sure you turn on your post notifications because every Wednesday I drop new content here on the Diva Liva gang. So I hope you guys are tuning in. So let's get into this video. I know I'm in the same place as always in my, ooh, that's the AC y'all, sorry. I know I'm in the same place always when I'm doing videos, I'm in my room. It's because like, I don't have no better place to record for y'all. Like. I need, but I need to like fix up my room. Like it looks a hot ass mess. Like there's a crack right here in my mirror. That happened one day because I was mad at my dad and I threw my phone and it cracked the mirror. And you know, my room, listen y'all, y'all just gonna have to get used to it, okay? So we gonna, you know, whatever. So what we gonna talk about? What we gonna talk about? First of all, let's talk about this hair, baby. Like, all right, so I decided to eat some, I know I'm on a diet, mind your business. I'm having my cookies, period, stop. Anyways. Um, let's talk about this hair, baby. Ooh, oh, grrr, oh, grrr. ah, this is my natural hair, baby girl. And yeah, I went, I went and got my hair like washed by my friend. Shout out to Anna. Um, she forever slaying me. And shout out to Jeremy, my barber. You dig? And I decided to go get my hair done. Today is Monday. It's dumb hot outside. It's like a thousand and one degrees. But I went and she just washed. What she did was wash my hair and like put it in rollers and just blew off the top. And then Jeremy finessed me with, you know, my little haircut, y'all. I don't look like a little rat no more. But this is all me, all my natural hair. And this is the most natural I've ever been. My mom did it was like, this is the most natural I've ever seen you with quarantine. I was like, what you trying to say? Cause I don't wear my contacts, I'm wearing my glasses. I have my natural hair. I don't got on no nails. I don't have no, no makeup on. It's too hot for that, it's too hot for that. So we had to get into that tea real quick about my hair. Oh, grr, cause it was looking poppy. <laughs> so, look at my hair. What's really the tea on these hair salons and stuff being that corona is going on? Like, I can't even get my nails done. That's why my nails are not done. The nail salon has not been open. And it's like, come on. We try to look flea and fly. And this is a disclaimer. This is not my hairstyle. This is just a hairstyle for two days. Because I have a friend about to hook me up with some hair. Not a weave. It's too hot for that. But like some braids or something. Um, Because, you know, this weekend... Oh, which is another good thing we could talk about. This weekend is my best friend Bianca's birthday. B, I love you. Actually, this video is going to drop on her birthday. Bianca, I love you so much. <laughs> her birthday is this weekend. So, actually, my next YouTube video should be a vlog about her birthday. So, I'm actually super excited about that or whatever. But back to what I was saying. My hair is going to be different, but I ain't going to tell y'all what I'm going to do. Y'all just going to see in the vlog. You dig? So, yeah. I don't know what to talk about. What are we gonna talk about? What are we gonna talk about? Who we all in love with? Let's talk about boys. <laughs> like, who we in love with? Nobody. <laughs> who we dating? Single. <laughs> who we stressing about? Food. I don't know. Like, a lot of people have been asking me that too. Like, yo, y'all look funny. Y'all look really funny. People see me post like a snippet of like a guy. Like, I went out and hung out with a friend of mine. Well, I mean. <laughs> 
he getting a friend, but whatever. And we were like, who that? Who that? You know what I learned? Being in a relationship on social media never works. I realized that. Like, my past relationship, I was with my ex for, I want to say for about four years. And um, I was very public about our relationship. And I think social media had a big impact on the reason why our relationship went the way that it did. So my advice is don't publicize what you prioritize. Bring. Don't publicize what you prioritize. Like, come on. The things that matter to you, keep them sacred. Like, keep them private. Everything is not for social media. And I had to learn that the, the hard way. So just, but my whole point is, just because I post him, don't mean he my boyfriend. <laughs> ah! <laughs> anyway, um, yeah, so... Keep y'all relationships to yourselves, y'all. Like, you know, privacy. And then privacy is not even about like, oh, like you're trying to hide them. No, like that's something that you hold sacred to you. That's something that's important to you. So my next relationship, I might post my boyfriend on his birthday or like on Valentine's Day or like, you know, but I'm not going to be posting him every single week. He'll be spontaneously post on my um social media. So, you know, oh, y'all don't even know what I really wanted to do. I was telling my mom, I said, mom, I really wanted to use quarantine to be the time to date people, which I am. But it's like, I feel like I just want to show up and be like, y'all, I'm getting married. This is my fiance. Like, I don't even want nobody to know I have a boyfriend. Okay. There's just a boy that likes me. That's it. Like, I don't want nobody to know nothing while I'm here talking about it. While I'm here talking about it. Yo, love is crazy, y'all. Like, I can't. Guys, be guard, guard your hearts. Just be smart when you want when you're dating somebody. You feel me? Like, don't put all your eggs in one basket. Don't jump in so fast. Especially people like me who are super emotional. We tend to run headfirst into things. And I've realized as I got older, like, you know, I gotta take my time with like somebody gotta get to know me. Like, before you even date me, you gotta get to know who I am. What's my favorite color? How long have my parents been divorced? Okay, what's my brother name? <laughs> what's my birthday? What's my phone number? Do you know about heart? Like, how am I, how are you my boyfriend in three days? Like, that cannot work. No, people need to learn to get to know each other. I need to know you in and out, your mother's middle name, before you could be my man. Okay, we need to date for like two to three months. I don't care if you mad about dating me for two to three months before you be my man. But then the guys of this generation don't want legitimate relationships they just want to toot it and boot it okay and be on their way like they don't want to like have a legitimate relationship and i'm just so over that like i want a real relationship i want a husband i want a baby like you know like i don't got time for no game i'm grown tell me how one time this guy told me oh brianna you know sorry oh ooh, that was not cute oh have you ever burped and blew it does that do anything? Like, like oh, and it blows and goes. Does, does that do anything in the way? Whatever. But, um, <laughs> this guy one time told me, he was, like, um, he was like, I was talking to my friends about you, and I was like, nah, Bree's a lady. That's a grown woman. I ain't got time. Mind you, he's older than me. Boy, sit down. What you mean you don't got time for a grown woman and you a grown-ass man? I can't. Like, the men of my generation just, like, what? Get it together. Get it together. And the ones that are in church are married on the DL. It's just really the truth. So it's like, I, you know, th th there's really nobody else out there. But the thug nasties. Like, you know, I mean, th th it is what it is. It is what it is. But you know why I'm scared to even get into a relationship now? Because guys be lying about this. I hate, what y'all hate what dudes do? I hate when guys be lying for no reason. The simple stuff. We, you, I come home after a long day of work. Food is prepared. Babe, you cook this? Yeah, babe, I did. Go to the kitchen and look in the in, in, in the garbage, and there's Olive Garden boxes. <laughs> Nigga, you lying over food that you didn't even cook? Like the simple things. Like, what are we lying for? What are you doing? What are you doing? Why are we lying over food? Like. I can't stand a liar, y'all. Like, I cannot. Don't lie to me. 
the truth hurts enough. So imagine what a lie could do. Like, just keep it a stack. You don't want to be with me no more? Fine. You found somebody else? Go ahead. But lying? And you gonna lie about dumb stuff? Like, if you cook dinner or not? Like, I can't. Like, men are so stressful. But I want one. So, slide into my DM right now. <laughs> right now. <laughs> <laughs> when it comes to that too y'all bro i'm just so happy my hair is growing back even though i should have shaved it but whatever i know that had nothing to do what i'm saying i'm really scared of like going into a relationship again and have to deal with the break a breakup i mean i'm supposed to think about breaking up once you decide to be in a relationship but that's obvious an alternative you know that can happen and that's just so scary like heartbreak ain't easy y'all have you ever been in love i mean in love with someone and they just come and be like i don't want you no more you done invested time money money energy family meeting them you know your siblings meeting them we're not talking about me your siblings me and them and you're just like yo how you just up and to the booty like that where you going where are you going i thought we was gonna get married i thought we were supposed to build the future together and now you ready to leave yo breakups ain't it, it ain't it I don't want to be a part of it. And that's probably the reason why I'm scared to get into another relationship. Mainly because I'm scared of the breakup. And I know I shouldn't even be thinking about that. Like, I should be like, you know, well, you know, eh. nah, but I think about that. I think about that all the time. Y'all, I'm just here ranting and talking. What else to talk about? What is there, what is there to talk about? I don't think a lot of people knew that I wore glasses. I started wearing contacts. Um, like, okay, so let me just tell y'all. I know this is random, but we girl chatting. We chatting, girl. So, well, I'm chatting. So, I stopped. I started. Okay, first of all, I was scared to wear contacts. All through college, I had mad. I love Gucci, that brand. So, all my glasses are Gucci or whatever the case may be. But when I was in college, even when I was cheering and running track, I wore my glasses well, I didn't wear my glasses I was just running blind and jumping blind because I hated contact I was so scared especially because my nails are so long and you know I didn't want bacteria whatever I was scared to wear contacts so the beginning of this year I had a resolution that I'm gonna put my glasses down and start wearing contacts so I started wearing contacts and I was like you know living it I'm like yo I could see you know my lashes to my forehead and I could see because it's so hard to wear glasses with lashes my glasses would be down here and I like you know whatever it was a hot mess so then I was like you know what so I started wearing contacts guys my eye got really infected and I was just like you know what back to these glasses I go and actually it got infected way before I stopped doing it like I was like oh I really thought that, you know, Corona was going to stop me from getting, like, my prescription for my contacts. But, no, it was really because I got infected. I don't know what I was doing that day. And I then poked myself in the eye. And I had nails on. And, no, it was just a hot mess. So, I decided not to wear contacts anymore. So, when I'm really, really blind, I can't see y'all. Y'all going to see my glasses. My glasses is cute, though. So, don't even come for me. They're, oh, my God. I look so bold. <laughs> Anyways, don't come for me. My glasses is lit, and I think I'm about to get some new frames. If y'all have an idea, if y'all, my subscribers, y'all wear glasses, comment down below, like, a good place I can get some good frames from. Like, a dope, dope frames. Like, green, blue, yellow, cat eye, round. Like, I want different, I want a different glasses for every bag that I own, and that's a lot of glasses. So, every bag that I got, there's a pair of glasses in there, so I, I won't be blind for the day. So, yeah. I gotta do better y'all i gotta do better i need to come up with content for y'all for youtube i knew i was just rambling and talking but girl we was just chatting <laughs> and whatnot but you know that was just a little video because I, I didn't want to not be consistent y'all like you know don't be mad i promise moving forward i'm gonna plan ahead my videos a lot better this next week i'm gonna drop a vlog the week after that i'm gonna drop uh i think i'm gonna do a story time because I feel like now, like, so, you know why I haven't done a story time? Well, another story time. Because I've been wanting to do story time. But sometimes you got to let things calm down before you actually do it. Because people will be in their feelings, even though I don't care. Because who going to pop me? 
nobody so i don't care but i just felt like you know let the situation die down then we could talk about it so honestly i have a good few ideas for the next three videos so y'all it won't be this dry and raggedy i'm so sorry y'all and i'm tired because i'm back to work i work like 75 every day sometimes i'm there longer than that um and literally every day like i work every single day so i be so tired and actually after this i'm about to go lay down and everything yesterday was father day so shout out to all the fathers i have so many good friends from high school and college and my job that are fathers you guys are great amazing black kings and a great amazing men and boyfriends and fathers to your children so shout out to y'all salute y'all because our black men in this world right now have been going through it and you know we have to honor our black men because they are amazing handsome you know they the best piece of candy best piece of chocolate in the candy store okay <laughs> but yeah guys thank you so much for tuning in to my channel make sure guys subscribe comment like and share what you don't like comment down below what you do like comment down below what you don't care about comment down below <laughs> and let me know and you know i hope to see you guys next week back here on my channel